Hello, is that Big J? This is me, yes. Good morning, Excellent. Benjamin Me. Good morning. Uh, where are you this morning? Are you uh, in a foreign country or are you here in, in the Americas? No, I'm in a uh, foreign country to you. Uh, it's in Dartmoor Zoo in Devon in England. Oh, excellent. So you are at the zoo this morning? I'm actually at the zoo, yeah, looking out over the trees and the animals. That's very exciting. Obviously, most of the people over here, just because of all the press and the buzz, they know about the movie We Bought a Zoo. The movie is based on a book, which is based on your life, essentially, and, and the big part of it being the fact that you actually purchased a zoo will you i'm sure it's a huge story i mean you wrote a book about it will you kind of sum up that experience for us like how did you buy a zoo well we weren't looking for a zoo at all um i was living in france writing a book about animal intelligence but from the comfort of a warm desk and my mother needed to uh, they my family were looking for a large house so that she could live with one or more of her children and some grandchildren um and through the door came the real estate details, which included this one, which is a 12-bedroom house, which is huge, and a 30-acre garden. And we kind of looked through the details, and then there's uh, seven tigers and three lions and a pack of wolves and three bears. And you, we just couldn't believe it. So we thought, we'd, well, someone's going to buy it. So we came down to have a look and fell in love with the place and quickly realized that if we didn't buy it, it was going to close, and a lot of the animals, probably most of them, would have actually had to be destroyed. Um, so we decided it was worth persuading my poor mum to sell her house and put all the money into this money pit of this zoo. <laughs> and um, we've got a we've got a zoo here that's kind of a money pit too. They just turned things around, but we've had a similar issue here, except ours isn't owned by a nice fellow like you. Well, they, they are impossible to make a profit because the animals are just, you know, you, you've never finished looking after them. And, you know, recently our, one of our tigers um, trod on her claw. She kind of scuffed her foot over and the claw stuck into her pad. Oh. And it, if that was a pussy cat, you'd just pick her up and, you know, pull it out. But to, to do that with Taz, um, who's a 200-kilo man-eater... Um, you need to call in a specialist vet and anesthetize her, and it cost about £2,000, um, which we weren't budgeting for, but it literally saved her life. I mean, if it had happened in the wild, she would have died um, eventually from an abscess uh, on it. And it's things like that that make it gratifying, you know, because you think, oh, we are really protecting this animal, and um, that's what kind of makes it worthwhile. That's cool. But it's cool phenomenally expensive and so when you bought the when you bought the zoo it, it was you and your two children or was there a woman involved yes my wife uh the, the, the whole family was involved but my wife um was initially with us when when i was living in france um she was diagnosed with a brain tumor um shortly after we arrived here uh and she died within three months of that um right in the middle of us trying to get the zoo open, um, oh, man. which obviously was a huge catastrophe for us. But being in the context of the zoo, it gave our little family something to work towards that was beyond our own sort of private grief. Um, and that's the essence of the film, I think, that they've carried through is um, they've, they've changed the timeline slightly so that in the film, um, my wife dies before, you, before the film starts. Um, but the regeneration process of both the family is sort of in tandem with the zoo is really what the film is about. And uh, then you uh, started a relationship with Scarlett Johansson. That's exactly how it happened, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and there was nobody uh, of her uh, physical attributes um, at the zoo at the time, and obviously since. Um, She's, the, the Scarlet Cal character, Kelly, is probably a, a composite of about three different people because um, obviously when they adapt a book for the screen, they have to simplify it um, um, to make it more accessible for a cinema audience. And, and so they sort of made the Scarlet character um, out, of, out of several other people, none of whom look anything like um, <laughs> the lovely Scarlet. That's hilarious. Did they film any of it at your zoo or was it all filmed here in the United States? It was all filmed in a, in a purpose-built uh, stage set um, built in a, in a ranch north of Los Angeles. I did try to encourage them to film here, but um, they explained it would be too expensive because 
uh, our animals wouldn't necessarily perform. And there are some, some shots with a lot of animals in the film. Yeah. And if the tiger just has to look sideways, that could take all day, just again, again, again. And our tigers wouldn't necessarily play ball. Definitely. So I can see that. Is this, I mean, has this done crazy things for your zoo, I would imagine? I mean, just this attention, I mean, such a huge film based on your zoo. I mean, are there just lines out the door now to walk through your facility? There aren't yet. Um, we're, we're down in down in more Devon in in England, and we're kind of bracing ourselves for um, a lot of people coming to this region over the next year or so. Um, but the lines haven't really started yet because the film hasn't been released. But we've certainly got a lot of media attention and. Um, People have been visiting our website quite a bit. Excellent. Well, it's a great, great story, and I thank you so much for, for sharing it with us and for sharing it with the world. And the film looks great. We Bought a Zoo. Definitely uh, check that one out. And uh, you can see Matt Damon doing his best to uh, portray Mr. Benjamin Me. Benjamin, it's been fantastic talking to you this morning. Thanks for taking the time for us. Thank you, Jay. Thank All right. you. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10 on Billings' number one hit music station, Hot 101.9.